In this video, I'm going to do some troubleshooting tips. Uh, I'll give you some troubleshooting tips uh, that you can use uh, if you're having some issues with your uh, TCL Roku TV. This one is the one we have in our master bedroom. We have no cable box. We do subscribe to Spectrum. So we have several uh, movie packages, sports packages, and so forth that uh, we... Uh, and all of the uh, video content content that we stream uh, on this TV is via the uh, the internet. So again, there's no uh, cable box and so forth. And I've done several videos uh, dealing with uh, Spectrum. Uh, in this case, uh, again, I have some tips to give you. I've uh, had this TV for about uh, two and a half years or so now. And I'm going to go over some of the issues that I've had and uh, uh, what I did to resolve them. So, I go to the Spectrum app here. We make it easy for you. So, what are the issues I've had uh, in the past? Uh, sometimes I'll select a channel and it doesn't respond. So, I could say click on Forensic Files here and it goes back to the previous channel, whatever it was. And I do several this several times and one way to resolve it is just to Click on the channel next to it. And then you can go back and select the channel you want. And a lot of times that'll work. Uh, there's another way that I'm going to give you later on. Uh, or it could be that I'm, I'm, I'm watching, say, Spectrum or Netflix or some other uh, video. And the uh, video freezes. Okay. So again, the solution to that has been to uh, uh, restart the uh, system, and I'll go over that in a minute. Uh, occasionally, I'll click on one of the channels for Spectrum, and the, it has no value. I'll go to another channel, and the same thing happens. Uh, in some cases, all the channels don't have volume. So again, I restart the system. And I'll show you how that works in a minute again. Uh, other issue that I've had is uh, sometimes I'll click on a, and this uh, again has to do with Spectrum uh, app, the Spectrum app. Uh, I'll click on a channel and uh, it'll give me a message error. The uh, channel is not available. Okay. So again, I restart the system and that, that usually will fix it. That will say 90% of the time. Now, the one time I did get an error message on all the channels, okay, and I would click on, on, on a particular channel and then eventually it would just kick me out of Spectrum and I would, it would take me to the home screen. And then I would try to get back onto Spectrum and uh, it would kick me back to the home screen. So I couldn't even, uh, uh, actually I could access because I was, I was in the home screen, I could re go ahead and uh, restart the system. But I had to do it like five or six times and then finally, finally it, it, it worked out. Now, other thing that's happened is you'll click in a channel. Again, this is with Spectrum, uh, Spectrum app, and the, the volume will be distorted. You'll go to another channel and again, the same thing. Uh, sometimes you can make up the, uh, make, make out the volume, uh, of what the person is saying in the video because the, uh, volume is just distorted. So again, I restart the system. So let me go over that now. So again, this is from the home channel. And then those are all the apps that I have. Uh, of course, you watch a lot of Spectrum, Netflix, uh, YouTube, uh, uh, NFL, Roku channel and so forth. Uh, got 65 uh, channels there. But we come over here to the left. Here we go up to settings. Go to network and then system and then we go to power. Okay. And then on here we go over there to the right and then system restart is what I do. Now again, you, it doesn't have the same effect. Uh, if you have just a regular uh, Roco streaming device, uh, sometimes you just uh, power on and off. Uh, so again, powering off, uh, usually is not going to work, so I, I, I do this, uh, 
Go ahead and restart. Click on restart. This takes about a minute or two to restart the, the system. And then this takes you back to the home screen and you're ready to, uh, again, uh, try your channel. And that, that, that should uh, repair it. So again, it's a system restart. I, if uh, That's my go-to fix for, for most of these little things that you, you might have. Uh, just restart the system. Sometimes uh, it works. Uh, uh, the, the problem also occurs in, uh, with Netflix, especially at night. The, the uh, video freezes, or you try to select a video to watch uh, or a movie, and uh, it takes a while to load. So I just uh, shut it down and go to system restart, and then it, it, uh, ninety percent of the time it works. It works fine. Uh, the other thing I uh, fix that I can point out is sometimes you're watching a video, uh, and most of the time it's been on Spectrum. I'm watching a video, and the the video is blurry. So almost like you're not getting enough. Uh, the strength of your signal is not strong enough. It's kind of blurry. I can't see it uh, clear. Uh, in, in that case, uh, I've tried the uh, system restart, uh, and it, it, it didn't work on that. So what I did on that particular one uh, issue, I went ahead and uh, checked that uh, my modem and my router, uh, all the proper, all the lights uh, were on, telling me that it was working fine. Uh, but what I did in that particular case, and this has happened like two or three times where I, where I get the situation with a blurry video, is I go ahead and uh, restart the uh, the router. So that basically is just, in that case, just powering off for about 30 seconds and then powering back on. Uh, at the same time, it's probably a good time to restart your modem. So I get, I actually power both of them off and then one by one, I turn them back on, waiting 30 seconds, and that uh, fixed the issue. And uh, like I said, it happened about two or three times, and uh, it worked uh, every time I did it. Uh, so those are the issues I've had with the TCL uh, Roku TV. And again, my go-to fix has been to a system restart. And of course, uh, problems with the internet is uh, rebooting, rebooting your uh, router, rebooting your modem, and then that's just really powering off and then back on. So uh, that's uh, the end of this video. If you have any questions, please post them or any anything, any fix that you have. I appreciate you post them uh, at the bottom of the description. So thanks for watching. Stay safe. We'll see you next time.